Welcome guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to show you the new gimbal from Turbo Ace, which is the All Steady Motion. And now this gimbal is an update to the previous uh, gimbal that I reviewed from the same company, which was the All Steady uh, 6 Pro. And in many ways it's very similar, yet it has certain things and little improvements here and there. Um, the, the previous gimbal uh, that I reviewed, if you guys want, by the way, you can see the full review of that when the link is in the description of this video. Uh, that one, you know, I was really happy with it. I actually used it on a few projects, a feature film that I worked on too. Uh, and then it was a great gimbal because it had a lot of little things uh, that might not seem, you know, so big. Uh, or so important, but actually were, were uh, very helpful when I was actually using it, uh, on, like I said, on some paid jobs. Uh, and this gimbal uh, stays true to that, but on top of that, it just it's kind of, like I said, an updated version. Um, so, if, in case you don't know anything about the uh, Turbo Ace gimbals, uh, they're basically using the Alex Moss uh, circuit board uh, system that, uh, for example, Came TV also uses in their gimbals. Uh, it's a very, I think, uh, very good system. I think it's, uh, in many ways, it's actually a lot better than, the, for example, the, the system that DJI uses in their gimbals. Um, uh, it uses 32-bit motors. Uh, also, this new updated version has uh, encoders in the motors, and that means that it's uh, a lot more energy efficient, so basically the batteries last a longer time, but also uh, it makes it a lot easier to reset the gimbal. Uh, plus, this gimbal actually has a few other little like uh, profiles and options uh, that uh, that you know some other gimbals don't have uh, out there. Uh, so first thing we'll talk about, uh, as I as I kind of set it up, is this battery. So batteries are the same old kind of batteries as they had in the previous one, um, and you know the, they're maybe when you're comparing it to competition, maybe they're not as updated simply because they still require you to actually plug in like this little uh, plug. Um, and the battery basically goes in here, so you go uh, in the top bar here, just kind of slide it in there. It locks in place with this little knob, but then you have to connect this cable here. Uh, and that's where, like I said, some of the other competition, you know, just has a battery that you just put in there and, and it automatically connects. Now, they did uh, do an improvement in terms of how you turn on the gimbal. So now you have actually an off and on switch. So once the battery is in there, you don't have to remove it or disconnect the battery. So it makes it a lot easier to turn it on and off. Um, so that's a nice thing. Uh, so anyway, so the gimbal, uh, I mean the battery is in there in the gimbal and another thing uh, I wanted to show you is the remote control that it comes with. So this gimbal, unlike some of the other ones out there, um, comes with a full kind of a RC remote control, meaning it has more axes, uh, more kind of controls that you can, you know, settings that you can change right here in the controller. Uh, but on top of that, it actually comes with a little like a built-in joystick here on the top. So if you want to, you can just use that joystick if you don't want to, you can just use this, uh, you can use the follow mode. You can also, uh, some people are asking me if you can detach the top handlebars, and yes, you can do that. Uh, so you can detach it and basically operate the camera uh, with a remote, for example, or just have it standing, you know, let's say, mounted on a car or something, uh, or, or like a cable cam or things like that. Uh, so you definitely do not need the, the top handles attached for, for it to work. Um, uh, so some of the, the like I said, the, the really cool things that I like, I like about it now and the, the new updated version is the fact that they have uh, the encoders in there and that just simply makes life easier when whenever you're setting up the gimbal and then let's say you start it up um, and then let's say the horizon is off because you can very easily reset the position. So let me maybe first turn on the gimbal and just kind of show you guys how it operates. So the remote control, turn it on here and then here we'll just switch the handle here and wait for them to pair up. And there, I think it is paired up. So now we can operate the, see the tilt here with this stick and the left stick you can do uh, panning left and right. Uh, now, like I said, this is a full sort of RC remote control. So it has a longer range than some of the other uh, remotes that, that come with other gimbals. Plus you can configure it a lot further if you wanted to. If not, it comes co co completely configured, but if you want to kind of get into it, you can even do, for example, something like, like you can see with most jo joysticks, you can do, you know, the panning and then the tilting, right? But you cannot do, for example, the roll axis. Well, here, if you actually wanted to play around with the settings, you could actually program one of these extra unused axes on the controller to adjust basically the roll axis. So you can have the camera kind of flying and maybe tilting left and right if you wanted it. 
Um, so that's a cool thing. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is when it comes to the, the encoders. So like I said, encoders just make life a lot easier because uh, they use less battery. So because this battery will easy, easily last you a whole day. But also, like I said, if let's say you start up the gimbal, which I know many times has happened to me, especially with like the DJI gimbals, I would start it up and then let's say the horizon is off. Uh, and then in, in a DJI gimbal, you would have to actually have the, uh, their phone app installed and paired it with, the, with your gimbal and you would have to do it through there. And I actually one time was on a shoot with a DJI uh, Ronin gimbal, the full size one, and I had that kind of problem and my phone stopped working and it, let's just say it was a bad day. And at the end of the day, I could not get the gimbal reset because I needed a f uh, the, the phone to, to connect to, you know, to do it. Or well, with, uh, uh, you know, encoders, it's super easy because all you have to do is just grab the camera, position it to where you want the home position to be and let go of it. And the, the, the camera will stay in that position. And the cool thing is that even if you wanted it, for example, let's say to be tilted, like we wanted to get a Dutch angle, then again, you can just put it there and just leave it and it will stay like that. Um, you know, or like I said, just basically you can easily reset the home position to so the position that the, the gimbal will always return to. Uh, and that, you know, the fact that you can do it just by hand like that just means that it's a lot easier in case something goes wrong while you're on location. Um, so that's one cool thing. Uh, and then another really great thing about it is that it has uh, more profiles now. Like I said, most gimbals will have the three standard profiles, which is the follow mode, uh, you know, follow on the pen, but locked on the, on the tilt. And then, for example, the uh, all locked mode. So not, not all the axes are locked. Uh, well, this gimbal now has all those three modes. Plus, it has actually two other modes. One more mode is a follow mode that's actually a lot more precise. So it allows you to move the gimbal really smoothly and get really fine kind of control. Um, and then also it allows you uh, another one, which is a... Uh, uh, basically accessories. So if you connect this to some of their accessories, like let's say you, you can even connect this to like a crane or cable camera, things like that, you can have those accessories communicating with the gimbal uh, and you can again pre-program all of that. Um, so that's a, that's a really cool thing. Uh, and actually one of the things that you can get with this gimbal is uh, if you buy the whole package is that you'll get the, the gimbal itself, the remote control, and also this, which is the fourth axis, uh, the, the jockey from Turbo Ace. And this thing is basically a really cool you know, addition to this because for one, it just simply takes the weight of your hands. So you have this thing here and you, it actually comes with like a belt. You attach it to the belt and then you put the gimbal either here or on the bottom up here. And the spring that's in it will actually move uh, and it will basically minimize the up and down movement. That's what the fourth axis is for. But also it will make it a lot easier for you to walk around uh, with a gimbal and let's say maybe a really heavy camera under for a whole day. Uh, and this thing, like I said, you can buy it together as a combo, or if you want, you can actually buy the Turbo Ace um, fourth axis jockey just as a separate thing, because it also works with the DJI uh, Ronin and DJI Ronin M, I, be I believe. So it works with the G DJI gimbals, which is really cool. Uh, so, you know, if you guys want to see the full review I already did of the, the fourth axis jockey, uh, from Turbo Ace, then uh, again, the link of this for this, I'll provide in the description of this video. So go on and check that out. Now, uh, I've used this already in a few uh, projects, but uh, recently I did a test with the, this gimbal, uh, kind of comparing it to three other gimbals that are on the market right now. Uh, and, you know, kind of a simple setup in this park. And, and I kind of just recreated the scene with all the gimbals, including the uh, All Steady Motion. Uh, so the, the purpose of the test was, uh, I kind of wanted to see how it works in, uh, for example, in holding just a static position. Then, for example, if I start moving the camera, uh, and how to get like basically if I wanted to get these very smooth, precise kind of movements. And all of this was filmed in the follow mode. Um, I also, you know, wanted to see how it works in, uh, in like these very subtle kind of, uh, almost like I would say a slider kind of moving shots from side to side. Um, but I also had a chance to kind of, you know, test it out in a, like a different thing that I did where I was running with the gimbal. And I got to tell you, the gimbal works smoothly. So it smooths out the shot. That's the number one thing, obviously, that, that you want to know whether, you know, about any gimbal. So this gimbal obviously will do it and it does it very really well. Um, the only problem that I found when I was doing the test was uh, that when I was running around my subject and going really fast and I wanted to basically rotate the, the gimbal and I was in the follow mode again, uh, I found that it was always kind of lagging behind. It wasn't fast enough. Uh, and, you know, after doing this test, I kind of 
you know, I was a little uh, upset or, you know, a little disappointed with the gimbal, uh, thinking that, okay, it's good for precise movement, but it's not good if you want to really pan and, you know, left and right, up and down, for example, uh, the camera really, really fast. Uh, then I went back home, turns out, well, after I looked at the manual again, <laughs> that uh, it was just my mistake. Because uh, like I said, this gimbal now has two follow modes. It has the standard follow mode, which is very fast and very reactive, but then it also has this precise follow mode. And the, the reason why I wasn't able to get uh, like I said, the fast panning is because I happen to be in, the, in that precise follow mode. Uh, and like an idiot, like I said, I didn't check the manual. So, so that's the reason why I wasn't able to do that. So that's actually a really cool thing. The fact that you can do that, you can have, like I said, two various kind of speeds and you don't, to switch between those, you do not need any phone apps or anything like that. All you literally do is uh, press the, the joystick here on the handle or, or the little button here on the back of the, the gimbal. Press the red button there and, and that's it. Now, let me actually show you maybe the, the different uh, profiles that it comes with, set up with. So the first profile here is basically the locked off mode, as you can see, moving it and does not move anywhere. Uh, the camera stays pointed the same. So that's the locked off mode. Now if I go to profile two, and this is actually the follow on the pan axis only. So you can see it follows left and right, but it does not follow up and down. Uh, and now if I go into third profile, so this is now the precise follow mode. So you can see it follows left and right, up and down, but it's very smooth uh, and kind of slower. So this is what allows you to get those really fine kind of, you know, framing and, you know, really be in control of what the camera is pointing. But like I said, in case you need to move the camera really fast, that's when you can go into the fourth profile. And now, as you can see, I'm in follow mode, but it's a lot more responsive. And had I known that when I was doing my test, uh, it's, you know, I would have been able to get, get, get those other shots. So, um, you know, always make sure you check the manual and you read it fully before you start using any of these gadgets. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it has that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's kind of nice the fact that the Turbo is kind of thought of that and then kind of, you know, gave you those extra profiles uh, and setup because it just simply means that it's a lot easier when you're on location and you want to, you know, like I said, switch to different, uh, different settings, different speeds. Now, uh, another really cool uh, kind of update that they did to the gimbal, aside from, like I said, the extra profiles, the, you know, 32-bit board, the, the encoders and all that stuff, is the fact that uh, now you can also calibrate this uh, very easily to, to different size cameras. Because uh, this gimbal, uh, just like the previous one, in case you didn't know, can handle all the way from like a small DSLR or DSLM type of camera, like even like the Sony A6300, for example, to Sony A7S II, you know, 5D Mark III, but it can go all the way up to, for example, like the Blackmagic um, uh, Cinema or 4K cameras, the production camera, or even all the way up to uh, like a Red Epic. Uh, that's like a really nice thing. It does the fact that it can handle, you know, such a big kind of, you know, different range of cameras. Uh, now, if you're going to be switching from different size cameras, sometimes the settings uh, might not, you know, the settings might be good for a lighter camera, that might not necessarily be good for a heavier camera. Well, traditionally before, you know, whether you're using, let's say, gimbals like the DJI gimbals, you'd have to go through the phone app and all that stuff and change the settings. Or if you're using Alex Moss like this one, you'd have to connect to the computer. Well, now uh, what these guys did is it's uh, basically you can change all of that and have it have the gimbal automatically calibrate itself, for example, and adjust the PDI settings on the motors to basically correspond properly for the, the kind of size and weight of the camera that you have uh, under. And the way you do that is you just press and hold uh, the, the little joystick here or the red button on the back of the gimbal, hold it for uh, 20 seconds and you will just leave it afterwards. The gimbal will basically, you know, figure out basically all the settings that it has to have and, and uh, apply the ideal settings for your size camera. So it's a really nice thing because, like I said, um, you can do now everything on location and you don't ever need to connect to a computer or have a phone app or anything like that connected. You just All you need is the gimbal basically itself. Uh, really nice addition and I almost wish that every other gimbal out there had these functions. Uh, this gimbal will also work in, in uh, the, all the kind of typical basically uh, setups, meaning the underslung mode like you see up here. Uh, but you can also easily now turn it upside down so to kind of have it you know, on the upright mode so the, the camera is more at your eye level. You don't have to hold your hands as, uh, up high. Uh, very easy to do that. Uh, and also briefcase mode, which is again very simple and quick to, to switch to that. 
Uh, so it's kind of nice that now, you, like I said, you can easily switch between all those profiles and, and it works equally well in, in all of those uh, different, you know, uh, configurations. So uh, overall, you know, I'm really happy with the gimbal. It's, uh, like I said, I was, I was really happy with the previous version and this one is just kind of builds on top of that, which is really nice. Uh, and, you know, if there was anything negative I could say, really the only thing uh, would be that maybe cosmetically when you're looking at it, uh, and that's just, you know, when you're kind of comparing it to other gimbals that are coming out on the market right now, uh, it kind of, uh, it almost seems like they haven't kept up to date with the, with the design of it. And what I mean by that is that, you know, the, um, uh, as you can see here, it has the wires sticking out. Uh, so you can have, uh, you have the wires here on the side, uh, you have the wires here on the, on the bottom here, for example, sticking out. Uh, here even on, on, the, on, the, on the top of the motor here, you have wires. Like I said, the wires to connect the battery are also sticking out. Um, even the, here are the wires for the, the you know, RC receiver are kind of outside. Uh, so, you know, that's something, like I said, if, if you don't care about how it looks cosmetically, like I said, functionally, it operates perfectly, so you don't have to worry. Uh, it just might not look as pretty as some of the other gimbals, but it definitely delivers uh, and it works, you know, the way it, a gimbal should work. Uh, so anyways, if you guys are interested and you want to get this gimbal, maybe get the whole combo, uh, and you're wondering where you can get it, where's the best deals right now, then again, check the links in the description of this video, or as always, go to my website at tomatosfilms.com. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.